this morning. Brian, I know we can expect heat today. Yeah, when you're talking about masks too, it is very tough to wear one in this hot summer swelter. So under the heat advisory, we should all limit our outdoor time today. I want to give you a live look at Elon. Skies are slowly beginning to brighten up. This is nearby Burlington where that mask giveaway is going on. Temperatures are certainly on the warm side today. We're starting out with early morning numbers in the low to mid 70s. Dew points are about as high. We haven't seen much fog developing yet under relatively clear but hazy skies this morning. Farther west, it is a bit more comfortable. Boone at 63. I'll take it 68 from Sparta and 66 in Hillsville this morning. Once you come off the higher elevations, we have temperatures in the low to mid 70s. I mentioned that heat advisory. It is once again in place for the triad. Most counties that border I 40 and then southward under that heat advisory for the combination of heat and humidity that will likely exceed 100 degrees for the fifth consecutive day. In fact, we had a high temperature at PTI Airport of 95 degrees. That's the hottest day of 2020 thus far and we'll likely get very close to that again today. But as that heat builds, we'll have some showers and thunderstorms developing starting in the tri during the afternoon. I think coverage will start to peak in the evening and may linger even past 9 p.m. tonight. Temperatures perhaps not quite as warm in Surrey County, Patrick County into Yadkin and Wilkes. But we'll have a high temperature of around 93. Not much of a breeze to offer up any heat relief. Southwest winds at five, but you do have a 50 50 shot at showers and storms that could briefly cool temperatures down into the 70s, especially if it's raining pretty hard. Uh, mid 80s for the mountains where rain is likely this afternoon. We'll likely start to see some activity developing around lunchtime or so today. You'll see a few storms popping up here and then gradually easing to the east and then eventually moving into the triad late in the afternoon again pretty good coverage into the evening before things begin to settle down. And again, tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, we'll start to beef up that rainfall chance. It's mostly late day, so if you got some things to do outside when it's cooler, I don't think the rain's going to bother you much at all. As far as severe weather possibilities, it's a limited or isolated severe chance for today. Uh, again, for the entire area, I think the primary risks include damaging wind gusts, frequent lightning, a lower end risk for flash flooding. We just haven't had a ton of rain uh, during the month of July. Temperatures low to mid 90s uh, for the rest of this week will gradually ease up on those hotter temperatures, but rain chances continue through Friday and may linger from time to time this weekend too.